This tutorial is about managing river floods using soft engineering. Soft engineering is one which works with nature and the idea is that management reduces the amount of water in the channel or slows down the water in the channel and it's a very sustainable solution. It doesn't involve any man-made expensive structures. So the first method of soft engineering is the creation of wetlands and flood storage areas. Imagine in this diagram that you have a river which is flowing downhill into a larger river channel which may then go on to um, a town or a city. The idea of this sustainable soft engineering solution is to hold the water back up in the hills or mountain areas by creating a natural flooded area during high rainfall. This area would fill up with river water and rainwater and it would take its time getting into the main channel. Thereby you are holding back the water from reaching the towns or the cities, releasing it slowly. Uh, the other benefit of a wetland or flood storage area is that it provides a natural habitat for wildlife. And you can see in this photograph here, this area is flooded during high periods of rainfall. The water will subside during low periods of rainfall, but it is allowed to flood, thereby preventing flooding of a town or a city downstream. Floodplain zoning is about managing the floodplain around a river. And you would do this first by identifying where your river is and then allocating in an area closest to the river, liable to more frequent flooding, a land use with low value. So it might be pasture land, low level agricultural land, campsites, that kind of thing, which it doesn't matter so much if it does flood. Further away from the river, further uphill, uh, the land use would be more valuable. Uh, so um, higher value agricultural land um, may use this area here. And then furthest away from the river, you would have land use which is high in value. So this is where your settlements would be, um, industry, administration areas for uh, councils, uh, retail, uh, that kind of land use. So it's about managing the land around a river um, according to its value. The problem with this is implementing this in an already established city. So you couldn't, for example, um, implement this um, in Westminster because the Houses of Parliament um, cannot simply be moved away from the River Thames. River restoration is about restoring a river to its natural state. Now, in this photograph, the river at one point was straightened in this channel here, but it has caused problems further downstream because the water's flown really quickly to a town or a city and caused flooding. So to manage the floods, they have restored the river to its natural state, a much more meandering river, and we know from our geography that a meandering river um, causes water to slow down, thus delaying the water flowing to the town or the city. Meanders also encourage flooding, so this river is liable to flood here in the rural area. and That's okay because flooding here means that flooding further downstream in an urban area is prevented. And the final way that we can manage river floods using soft engineering is actually to accept that flooding will happen. And we're not trying to control the river here, we're trying to prepare people. So preparing for floods um, in the United Kingdom, the Meteorological Office, the Met Office, produce flood um, alerts and warnings depending on the severity of them. They are issued during weather forecasts and also the, the Met Office produce um, flood um, alert and flood warning maps so that you can see digitally um, your area. You can click, click on your flood warning 
um, to see what the level of threat is and what you should do. It's about educating people, providing people with information to know what to do during a flood, whether to evacuate or to um, stay indoors and what you can do to help um, yourself and your property and your businesses. Um, the other thing that we can do um, for preparing for floods is to produce maps like we have here on the right, where we can see um, areas which are prone to flooding um, where there is no sea defence or river defence and therefore it's advisable um, how we can and cannot use that land. And this is about um, helping councils, local authorities to make decisions on how to prevent flooding in the future.